In this video, I'm going to show you how I replace a video on YouTube that I've either updated or I want the viewer to see the improved version of that video. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't give you an option to do this. You can delete it or you can leave it on Vimeo. Now, I don't know if this is just if you have a pro account, which is only like 40 bucks a year, you have the option to replace a video. Unfortunately, YouTube does not have that option. So if you have a video that's really old and it has like 11,000 views, the reason I would like to replace these is because I put music in the background, I sped this up. It was my first couple of videos and I just didn't know anything about video making. And, and over time, I made updated versions of those videos. So I would prefer for these to be gone, but I don't want to lose these stats of 11,000 views or people who have linked to it or embedded it in Pinterest, let's say. I don't want them to see a little scrunchy face saying this video has been deleted. So I'm going to show you what I did on a couple other videos. Once I was sure they were not getting any traffic, then I'll delete it. So I found a way to make my own version of replacing a video. And so here's my other channel, Hey Mimi Girl. I made this one and then I decided it wasn't very good and I needed to expand on some information, make it a little better. So I updated it with this video, but I haven't deleted this yet because I wanted to use this to show you how I would do this if I wanted this to stay. I'm going to delete it because it really doesn't have much activity. But let's say it had a lot of links to it or it had some likes and it had a thousand thousand views and I just didn't want to lose all that. Here is how I would do it. First of all, I would go into annotation. I want to add an annotation at the beginning. Okay. Is I'm going to put this video has been moved to an updated version and I'm going to put the link in there. I'm also going to put the link in the description. I'm going to force them to go to the new video and not watch the old one. So here I'm going to add an annotation. Let's make it a speech bubble. Let's make it pretty big so that they cannot ignore it. Okay. Let's put this video has been replaced. All right, so let's kind of make it big. Let's make it as big as we can. But we're going to do more than this. We're going to shorten this video to about 15 seconds. I really do not want them to watch, comment, or I mean, I can turn, I will turn comments and ratings off. And I'm even going to maybe change the title because I want people to watch the one that I want them to watch. Now we're going to link to it. We're going to save video. Okay, so now I have that and I'm going to put the link here and I'm not going to make it open a new window. I want it to replace this window because I do not want them to watch this video. So don't click that. I'm going to make this big enough so that people can read it all. Let's see how long this is. It's, how long is it? It's only 10 seconds. I gotta go a little longer. Let's just, okay, so let's see how that looks. Hey, it's Mimi from HeyMimi.com, and you may know me from my other YouTube channel, Hey Mimi DIY, Stony Silence Workshop. That channel is mostly for tools, tech, and crafty type stuff. Uh, now that I've done this step, I'm now going to make it short, so they cannot just continue watching the one that I don't want them to watch. So uh, the way I'm going to do that is go into, I think it's enhancements. And I'm going to make it short. By leaving it there, I just feel like I'm not burning any bridges if there's links to it already or if it somehow benefits me to keep that video. If, if somehow I'm going to regret deleting it, I don't want to delete it. If I've learned from those comments and I've improved the video, I want them to watch the good one. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to trim this video only to about 30 seconds long, if even that. So let's trim it. Hey, it's Mimi from Hey Mimi Tech Channel. Really want Okay. Okay, I'm going to split it right there. This part, I'm going to take this whole part right here and I'm just going to cut it out. Unfortunately, you can't really pick pieces out of the center. You can, but I've tried to do it and it's a big mess. I've tried just editing the, the stupid parts out and uh, the only thing I find worthwhile is being able to chop off either end. If you hate the beginning or you hate the end or you just want to make chop off half of it, you can. But if you start chopping it into a lot of pieces, um, I found it extremely imprecise. That didn't work for me. So I'm just going to take this whole thing and I'm going to delete it right there. And now here is the whole of my video. So let's just say done. And then I'm going to just save it. Let's just save it. But this is going to take a few minutes to process. However, I can change this to this video has been replaced. Or when I want to go into the description, I don't have to rewrite all this stuff. So. Before you delete anything, salvage what you want off of the old one. 
okay? So there's just a little um, note of what I had spent writing up. And now I can go in and change this because I've saved it all. And I'll just put a little information in there. You can put whatever you want, but I would put the same thing you put in the annotation. The good thing now is that annotations didn't used to show up on iPads and tablets. In the last couple of months, YouTube has um, improved that, and now annotations do work in on iPads. So that's another reason why this would work. The reason I shortened this video is because well, sometimes people just don't read the annotations unless they're forced to. So if it just stops after 30 seconds mid-sentence, someone will go, what just happened? And then they'll read something. So you want to put it in other places for them to read along with the link to the new video. So let's save that. You can even put it in the comments. I'm trying to just keep them directed to my channel so they don't just click away or click back. So now let's see how it would look. This video has been moved. Hey, it's Mimi from HeyMimi.com. Now it's 25 seconds long. My... So you can go back here. Okay, so I'm going to change this. So then you're gonna click save. Here is the one we are redirecting and then here is the new one. Let's just go to the old one. Click on that. And so now I'm at the new one. As you can see, now all it takes is one click. People don't have to go to my channel and look for the updated one. They don't have to open a new window. One click and they're just at the newer video. It just cuts right to the chase without burning any bridges in the process. Okay, that's it. And I hope that's helpful. If you have a better way to do it, leave your suggestions in the comments. I'm sure everybody would love to get plenty of ideas on how to do this.